What's howling, Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Thursday, October 4th. I'm Allie, and this is my co-anchor, McKenna. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Did your team sign up for the dodgeball tournament? Well, if so, our next round of games is today, at, in the gym at lunch. The teams that will be competing will be the Tryhards, Dahomies, and Ravioli. Congrats to They Never Gonna Win for moving on to the second round. Make sure that you check the locker rooms to know when you are playing. We hope to see you there. Robotics practice is today from 3.20 to 4.30 in room 505. Please be there on time. If you have picked up an Honor Society application, please turn it in with any money donations between today and October 12th to the ASB window. You must have a 3.5 GPA to qualify. This would be based on your third and fourth quarter grades from last year. You can still pick up an application from Mrs. Sandoval or Mrs. Burleson. We look forward to having you be a part of the group. Attention all Ignite representatives. Please meet today at brunch in, in Mrs. Romero's room 221. If you are in the Ignite Club, we will have a meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 221. We will have Haley from Higher Vision Church share a good word. Hope to see you there. For campus safety, all students must be within the yellow boundary zone during brunch and lunch. No student is allowed in the back part of campus. Please do your part to stay within the designated area. The 7th graders lead the 8th graders in the tardy count challenge. As of this week, the 7th graders have a total of 536 tardies, and the 8th graders have a total of 636 tardies for the quarter. The class with the lowest amount of tardies in quarter one will receive an extended lunch every Thursday in November. The PE department is, is also offering a reward to be named later. Who will win? Tomorrow is the first Friday of October. It is College T-Shirt Day. Please wear your favorite college t-shirt to show support for your favorite school. Safe School Ambassadors. Tomorrow is our full day training in the NPR. When the first bell rings, please report directly to the NPR. There is an assembly before our training, so please wait for the first bell to ring and then report to the NPR. Students and staff, during the month of October, Mr. Patterson will be outside during brunch as often as possible in order to get people to sign a pledge to stand together against bullying and united for kindness, accept acceptance, and inclusion. Also, every Friday will be Orange Out Fridays. Please wear orange on Fridays. On October 12th, Teen Truth will be here to answer the question, if you are not making a difference, what are you doing? It's going to be amazing. Today in history, on October 4th, 1958, the first scheduled transatlantic passenger jet service was inaugurated by the British Overseas Airways Corporation. Today is also the birth date of movie actress Dakota Johnson. She is 29 years old. The word of the day for today is metaphor. It is a noun. The definition is a figure of speech in which two different things are compared in order to describe one's qualities. A sample sentence would be, the poet was able to capture the beauty of his subject through the use of metaphors. Something you should know about today. Today is National Taco Day. Tacos are loved and eaten by millions each day in either hard or soft shell with a, with a variety of fillings. The history of tacos predates the arrival of Europeans in Mexico. Anthropological am evidence shows the native people living in the lake region of the Valley of Mexico traditionally ate tacos filled with small fish. At the time of the Spanish conquistadors, Bernal Diaz del Castillo document 
documented the first taco feast enjoyed by Europeans. This meal was, the, was arranged by Hernan Cortez for his captains in Coyacan. It is unclear why the Spanish used the word taco to describe this native food. One suggested origin is the word atico, meaning stuffed or too stuffed. Whatever the reason is, it is called what it is called. Your responsibility is obvious. Eat some tacos today. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For Allie and the entire crew of La Mesa Live, I'm McKenna. Have a thriving Thursday.